the people, see you again. Welcome back again to another episode. Brady Day in my kitchen again. As usual, my kitchen name, all me eat. So, my day today, I'm going to mash up some steam fish. You know, a good old Jamaican steam fish, me and Dewey Cars. That one, I'm going to shot. That one, I'm going to mad. So, watch what I go and come over here, so I'm show the ingredients in cars. Alright, that's what I'm going to do with that today. Come look what I'm going to Come here. The main ingredients, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. So, I'm going to say, I'm going to steam fish today, so I'm going to fish there. They are them nice. Some as some sea bream, sea bream I use today. Let me that snap about me not getting a snap and that look parrots here. We open not getting a parrot. So I use some sea bream today. I fish them. So I'm just show no food that one here. Yeah? That one I got nice. So I'm me fish there. I'm here me okra. So you don't know say okra feel a steam fish. Yes. I'm here to do that one like coconut today. Coconut juice. Body steam fish this. Let's see what I go on. Watch what I go on. Alright. So I have sweet pepper. The colourful one name, you know. I'm here with chocho. I have a piece of pumpkin, I have carrot, I have some Irish, Irish potato. That's what I have, just put a piece in there. Onion, good old skelly, and you don't know, and good old scotch bun, you still have two of them. And I have the garlic, there so. I have some garlic salt, fish seasoning, all purpose. Yes? That's our purpose there. And then we put our crackers there because you don't know about crackers are clean and clean. Pick up on the cell. So watch me do that one here. Yeah? Let me show you how we do it. Break down and everything and everything will be nice. Just watch what I go on. Man, catch me again. Yes, people, see it now. The coconut juice already. I you know I cut it up and blend it off already and they are nice. So I'm going to show you what I go on. So I'm going to see some fish meantime. As I say, you can have your seasoned fish a few hours before, but because I do it for you to see, you do everything on camera right now, so I don't see what I go on. Yes? So I have some all purpose. Yes? About a teaspoon, the last side that. Fish seasoning. Half a, half a teaspoon. Yes? I have some garlic salt. About half a teaspoon still. As I say, you can't wash season fish. Yes, that we go back for the thing. We have some fish stock, but we eat that thing next time. So we rub this in. Rub this in nicely. Yes. Nice one. Sure, not looking up because that one is not hard, you know, that one is not easy one. Just to get the formula right. Alright. Other side. Yes. Alright, so I'm gonna have my coconut milk to the pot. There you go. About a cup and a half. Yes. Put my heat up a bit. Yes. So I'm gonna start cutting my veg. To add to that one, I'm going to start cutting my carrot. Meantime, that um, start boiling. Yes, I'll start cutting my carrots. Nice, like a, nice, like a strips. And you know, we go. I don't want to cut it too big. I'm just putting it on camera so you can see, you can get it right. It's just the same. You know what I mean? You can see that coconut milk, coconut milk sack boiling in the pot already. That's what you're looking for. Nice one. This is the authentic way of doing steam fish in Jamaica. So I'm going to show it out to the world now so you all can see how we do it. You know what I mean? You've got other, way, other ways how they do it. But this is my way. And this is the traditional way to do it as well. You know what I mean? Some people take shark cut and stuff like that. I don't take shark cut with my food, my authentic dishes, you know what I mean? Do it the right way because this is what we grew up on and this is what I used to. You know what I mean? So if you never travel to Jamaica, you can never travel because people there don't need to know whole, the whole fashion way as well. You know what I mean? I'm not trying no shark out here with you guys. You can see exactly what's going on. Yes. So, I'll be 
cutting my carrot here, as you can see, nice, not too big, not too small. Yes, because you want them to cook in a short period of time, not too, not too, not too, not too long. Because it's supposed to take like 15 minutes or 10 minutes. Um, normally, yes, a pumpkin here. A bit of pumpkin in there. Yes. It's nice little strips. Not too big, not too small. Yes, nice one. Getting it done. Just so people enjoy this one. This one's gonna be nice. Yes, when you have your, your crackers to this one as well. Oh, lovely. Yes, man. Yes. Nice one. I'll be adding these to my pot now. Add them there. There we go. Add them there. I'm going to put my heat a bit as well. Nice one. Watch it and get it right. Nice, nice dishes on a Saturday evening or breakfast if you if you, if you don't mind. Got some chochi here. Just a few these. I mean, easy peasy. Yes, and you can you can you can watch and, and learn how to peel a chochi as well. Nothing hard in it. Get a peeling knife and you and you peel it nicely. In the middle bit here, you get this bit out. Nice. Yes. That's one. We had a whole one in there as well. Nothing hard about it. To get it right, get the technique right. Get it all clean. There you go. Get a little bit out. That's the seed. That's nice. Put the side there. You saw the water already, that will start bubbling already. Nice. Cut your leaves out. You see, easily cut people. Easy, easy cut. I'm just gonna cut it like that. Not too big, not too small. I mean, and your cockroach is the next one thing again. Easily cook. Your cockroach easily cook. You don't want it, them to be too soft. Just gonna have that there. My tap is up a little bit of water as well, but um, let's see. Put that out in there. Because your fish is the last thing gonna be in this pot here. Because the fish cooks so easily. Look at that, lovely already. Nice. Probably having a bit more water in there. Boiling water. That should be alright. Yes. Let's give that a few. Some black peppers. Just gonna use half of each. These people have food some very wash wash already. So make sure you wash your foods because chemical Spray it with all sort of chemical. So you make sure you, you wash them. Don't get enough food poisoning. You know what I mean? So 
Oh, very nice people. Nice one. Yes. Nice little chunks. Strips. Whatever you call it. The man them, the Rasta man them, I feed them this, this, you know. Good old Rasta, the Rasta man. Big up on the same Rasta. Yes, man. Cool that one, yeah. And the, and the vegetarian, them see them, yeah. I'm gonna cut my okras. Yes. Not too small. I'm gonna cut one in like four or five pieces. That's how big okras this one. Yeah, there we go. Just set those top cooking there. There we go. Nice. Another man, them. You no know, one wants to walk that one, you know, you know. Yes. People, you need to try this one and tell me what you think. You watch your video. As me always, big up the people. Let me see if you will subscribe to this channel. I will not come yet. I know they are pressing the subscribe button at the moment. Bless up on yourself, big up on yourself. Give thanks. For the support of this channel. Let's give an encouragement to do more videos and um, I can do more dishes, a lot more to come. i show you everything. You can have my pepper in there as well. Yeah, man, drop it in there. Yes. I'm showing you all authentic way. Though. This is no, um, it's not good. No, this is this one, no heisting on this one, straightforward. Yeah. And some garlic in that as well. Nice. Garlic in there. In there, using three cloves, people. You want, you want to get them nice flavors out of this, out of them garlic as well. Yes, there we go. I'm gonna have my scallion as well. I'm not gonna cut them, I'm just gonna smash them like you know what I mean. Drop them in there. As I just said, people, it's not gonna take long, it's take like 15 minutes. Yes, there we go. I'm not gonna add all my hot in there as well. I got a few honey in here as well. I'm not gonna add too much honey in. I'm gonna add just um, some of those nice chunks and drop in there. Yes, this one. So look at that beaver. Taste it already. I'm just gonna add my, um, my fish stock in there as well. Nice one, I'm gonna put two in that one. Get okay, nice flavors out of that. There we go. I'll mix that in. I'll be tasting this as well to see if I need any salt, but not yet. Because them seeds are gonna be here as well. Yes. Just gonna have a bit of garlic salt in there. Not much. Half a teaspoon. Fish seasoning. Nice. Start in. Yes. So um, I will. I will let this cook for a minute, for about a minute or two, and then I get back to you when I've had my fish and my hot crow and my sweet pepper because I don't want them to cook off too much. So I get back to you and show you. Oh, to do the rest in a minute. See ya. I'm just gonna have my sweet pepper in. Yes, sweet pepper in there. Nice one. My hawker as well, going in. You don't want them to cook too long because you don't want them to make them too soft. You want you want it with a bit of crunch in them as well. You know what I mean? Yes, so you mix that in. Yes, nice one. Jesus, people, you want to taste this already? Look at that, lovely. Yes, just gonna leave this there for about two more, three more minutes, and then I'm gonna add my fish to that. So I'm gonna come back again and show you when I'm having my fish. 
You know what I mean? So, stay tuned. Watch me on this one. Look at that already, people. Nice. Whenever them hot crocs start cooking this one, oh my god, it's gonna be lovely. Yes? Alright, so see you in a minute when I'm having my fish. Yes, people, see it and now. So, the fish them. As we say, you don't have to use, because some people don't like the fish and um, the head on the fish, so you can always take your head off or. You know what I mean? So, I like the, I like the, head, the head on it. Um, I don't really hate the head, but it's nice. You know what I mean? So, I'm going to slide it, slide it against the pan under there. You know what I mean? Two of them. Yes. See that? I'm covered, covered nicely under there. And just sink that down in the juice. Just, just like that. Yes, and just, and just use the, the veg to cover that. Yeah, this one's gonna be lovely, people. Look at that already. Nice. Yes. So, this is this is the final part of it. So I'm just gonna give this like five minutes because you don't want to overcook your fish as well. Because you know fish easily cook. Um, you don't want to overcook them. So I'm gonna give this like five minutes on the fire. And then, yes, and then I get back to you and show you exactly what it looked like when it finished. Yes? So big up on yourself. Remember to subscribe to the channel. Remember to like and share. Leave a comment and tell me what you think. Because you don't know your boy ready there and I kiss you in the kitchen there. How oh, me eat. Big up on yourself. <laughs> Respect. Yes, people, steam fish done, dusted, sorted. See ya. Have a look. See it on the people. With a few crackers funny, you know, say steam fish don't really eat without crackers. You don't know, or even bami. You can use bami. As, as you know, say the whole traditional way steam fish and bami are with crackers. You don't know, see there. Nice one. Yeah, man, perfectly cooked. Yes, people. So, you are going now. Want to know, subscribe to the channel, like the channel, and give me a thumbs up or a comment on that one and tell me what you think. Yes, when my kitchen name, how me eat. Remember, go have a look. Subscribe, tell a friend, tell a family, and you subscribe yourself. Big up on yourself. See ya out. Homemade kitchen. Ready there. Art. Blessings.